I mean, it was unbelievable. And having that 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 notion that you know uh, you're supposed to go uh, any picks now. Houston has submitted its pick. The New York Giants, Giants are now on the clock. What's up, Joe? Uh, all right. You know, you get a little, you get a little bit nervous. And when I, my phone was ringing, at the time, I believed the Giant had the call, and I had no idea the Falcon had traded up. And when I looked at my phone, it said Atlanta, Georgia. So, so, so we're swapping picks, and 36, 38 for 43, and you're getting 114. Yep. Cleveland Press also. Atlanta is now on the clock. Hey, Kate. What's up? How you doing? How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. You want to be a Falcon? Oh, y'all ready to go. All right, man. I like it. I like it. All right. Didn't really hit me until I talked to them, and all the emotion just came out. And it was, I went from being completely calm to actually yeah. feeling it. Hell yeah, People were telling me I was gonna cry, and I was like, there, there's no way on earth I'm crying. And getting that call, I could feel myself getting emotional. Anybody that got that call understand that feeling is unbelievable. Yeah. Katie is an outstanding pass rusher. We mentioned that's where they have to go. Got to get some production. And Joel, with his 34-inch arms, and his get off and power, he's a leverage rusher that's a nightmare for tackle. I feel like rushing the pass is just special and it fits me best. I mean, I always describe my game as someone that's uh, relentless. You're not gonna win every time, but just the ability to get up every time and just having to, the will to get it done, uh, that's what motivates me every time when I go out there. I think it comes down to uh, being a competitor. Uh, I think I got it from my dad. I, I've been a competitor my whole life. And moving to America, uh, soccer was my first love. And going to school with everybody else, and there was more basketball players and, and football players. I wanted to be competitive and bond with other guys, and that's why I made the transition. Sports, you don't really have to uh, speak as much, and it comes down to making bond uh, through the game that you guys all love. My dad was more familiar because my dad uh, actually de developed a love for the game of football uh, early on when I was still in high school, but my mom had no idea to. I mean, she the first time she actually started taking football seriously when I got a scholarship offer uh, to go play. For Temple. Action here for Bouchelle. Pocket of glass, and here comes Emma Katie. Oh, what another sack there by Arnold and Emma That's Katie. when she actually went back and started learning the game. And now, it's like, I mean, it's unbelievable for my whole family, given the fact that I was also able to inspire them, uh, being someone that didn't grow up playing the sport and getting to where I am today. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> There's a lot of expectation that comes with it. Uh, a team that that believes in you, believes in your potential, believes in what you've accomplished at the college level, and expects you to do the same thing in the league. And for me, it's more so uh, I intend to go out there and be a professional, uh, work on my craft, because the goal is to go out there on Sunday and improve your game.